So I'm off to Guildford. It's a little bit snowy today. It's only light and it's only due to do for a couple of hours. The main roads will be fine and pretty much the whole way where we got to go is uh, motorway, so they'll be fine. We'll take you with us. See you a bit later. So we've just arrived at Guildford. This company is massive. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a barrier behind me and a barrier in front. Liam's had to go into the reception before we can do anything. I just looked out the window. There's not many of these around to be honest with you. It's a sea do boat. Basically, the people that make jet skis, they made these sea do boats. They weren't very popular, but it's basically the same as uh, a sea do jet ski engine but they got two of them in there but it's a little boat two-seater boat and they're really quick but that's that's rare they know you don't see many of them about we've actually got to wear some high vises this looks like the bin just there so this is a bad boy g8e21 hopefully it's not full of black bags it's not full of black bags hopefully Enough of that though. Great, you'll need that. <laughs> it's commercial. I think these are these are for a van or something. It's heavy. It looks like a floor bit. It's like a four by four big thing, isn't it? How many is there? Six. What? Yeah. Are these? We're going to struggle with this, mate. Which way does this? Oh, that was our work. We've got a lot of tyres. Compressor's all right and there's some sort of lift in there. Definitely get our money back, it just depends what the tyres were. We've got some monster pieces of glass. It looks like they've come out of a boat or a coach or something. I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. Proper laminated, each piece weighs about 30, 40 kilos. So uh, that'll be interesting to try and even remotely find out what that's from. So anyway, let's see how we go. We're on our way back now. So I'll run through later what we've sold over the weekend. We're just having a bit of an admin clear up, sort through what we've got left. So we've had a bit of a tidy up today and sort out. Liam sold the ammo box. Helmet's gone, 30 quid. 35 sale. All oh, right, 35 quid, sorry. So we sent, we sent out some magazines today from five to sort of 10 quid. FHM 1990 version. All seem to be about either Kylie Minogue or the world's sexiest women. She's quite tasty still though. What, she's, Kylie? Yeah, she's got she's it, mate. knocking on. Kylie's got, mate, <laughs> mate. Right. I wouldn't say no. Sold a set of wheels over the weekend. Sold a set of wheels over the weekend from Land the, Valvo. from the Guildford bin. We paid 140 quid for the bin, sold the wheels for 200 quid. So whatever we sell out of that bin now, we should be we should be quids in. Happy so. days. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've still got a washing machine. If anyone Opening wants on one. a safe, a Victorian safe, or a, a or a or a hot point washing machine. So it's still Monday. We're now off to donate some of the bits and bobs that are just not worth selling to some charity shops. We've got uh, one in town, which is the mine shop, and then the other one's the Christian charity that. Um, does a lot of work for people that have basically got nothing so they will take knives forts plates any sort of kitchenware or any other bits and bobs so yeah just uh, I've got an ironing board for them and just stuff that you take we take for granted really but people don't just don't have so yeah it's worth giving it away rather than chucking it away so that's the first place we go to uh, the mine shop they always take bits and bobs in there like dropping off stuff to charity rather than putting it in landfill. So this is where we drop the other stuff off.
all this stuff and those wheels are going to Bedford Auction. The two bikes, compressor, washing machine, tools, air thing, box, tools, funny looking stall and a set of tyres. That's designer. Designer Shane stall. Shane Holland. Bespoke made. Let's go and get the van and get this, this lot in there. Van, pretty full. Unit, much more empty. Room for some more treasure. Arrived at Peacock's in Bedford. This is their new building. They used to be in Bedford Town Centre, in a really old building right in the town. They've been there years and years and years, and they built this place bespoke. First load of bits, all the power tools and the tyres. So we'll get these off first, then get the other bits. Here goes my main man, Liam. All done, gone. Empty van. We haven't even sold stuff yet, Liam's already shopping. Oh yeah. <laughs> Straight on it. So that's it for this week. It's been a week as you've seen in the video. Mainly sorting stuff out. We're looking forward to going to the auction. It's been next week's video, so we're gonna take you along with us on that just to see what stuff goes for. We've got rid of a lot of stuff, still got the two really heavy safes. Next week I'm gonna fit some new locks to the site safe to make that more sellable. If the safes don't sell, we're gonna take those one of those to the auction to see what it goes for, give us a good idea what sort of money we can expect from those in the future. We're just trying to recuperate some money because there's some good stuff coming up next week that we need to bid on and there's an auction for blind units that we want to go to and we could really do with the capital back to buy them with. So anyhow, let's, um, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, do the notifications, got a lot more interesting stuff coming along so it'll be well worth a watch and that's it from me.